Mr Speaker, the speeches from my honourable friends from North East Derbyshire and Truro and Falmouth were in the finest traditions of the House, and the speech from the Leader of the Opposition was in the finest tradition of the turgiversating Leader of the Opposition. <laughs> First he was opposed to no deal, now he seems to be opposed to any deal. First he was in favour of delivering Brexit, now he wants a second referendum. First he, first he wanted an election. Actually, he wanted an election for quite a long time. Now he'd much rather not. He resembles a Janus, a push-me-pull-you facing both directions at once and yet unable to decide for either. His policy on cake is neither having it nor eating it. And, and, and frankly, I, frankly, I fear for his political health. Because we can all see the Soviet, we can all see the Soviet era expulsions yeah. that are taking place in his circle, as one by one his lieutenants are purged, as Lenin, as Lenin purged the associates of poor old Trotsky. And there is Lenin, Mr. Speaker, the veteran fabricator of GLC budgets, as the as the as the shadow chancellor tightens his icy grip on the Labour Party, the contrast becomes ever stuck. We're putting up wages, contrary to what he just said, we're putting up wages with the biggest expansion of the living wage uh, ever seen. Uh, they would put up taxes, he would put up taxes. We will control immigration with a points based system. He wants to, and of course, and let me anticipate the point that my, my old friend is going to make. And we will look after the interests of the 3.4 million. They, they want to abandon immigration controls altogether, to judge by what he has just said. We back our armed services. He, he, sides, he sides with their enemies historically. He sides with their enemies. And he has said he would like to disband them. We want to strengthen, and we will strengthen, our United Kingdom. He would break it up. And I will give way to the Honourable Gentleman.